Hello everyone, this is Dr. Todd, and in the last video I discussed an academic workflow for Google Keep. I want to kind of continue along that line of thinking and reasoning, and I want to remind you of a couple of the key things that I brought up in that video. The first is that, remember, we, are, we need to, instead of complaining about the functionality of the application, we need to adapt our workflow to match the functionality of the application. Uh, then we can get the truest sense of how well this works, the application works for us. Now with that being said, what I wanted to do is kind of show you, uh, extend a little bit of the work with Google, Google Keep and also talk a little bit about Google Docs on how you could create a project. Uh, some of my thinking has been shaped quite a bit by Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain, where he talks about a, a creative process that you can remember with the acronym CODE, C-O-D-E. C stands for uh, collect, O stands for organize, D stands for distill, and E stands for express. And if you think about it, you're, whatever you're creating, you, you do ultimately have the goal of expressing it in some way, shape, or form. So I wanted to kind of show you some, some ways I think you can use Google Docs and Google Keep, along with a couple of, well, one disappointment for sure that I saw with Google Keep, but it's okay, we can, we can make it work. Let's begin by saying, okay, we need a place to house our project information. So let's, we're gonna to go to Google Drive, and here we are in Google Drive, and I've got a, a subfolder here called Projects, and let's click on that. And in the projects, I've got several things I'm working on now. But here's a CBT anxiety video. So now this is going to be our folder. Now right now I just have this one file in it. But this is going to be where we'll keep all the information that we're using in this project. And so let's go over to Google Keep. Now one of the things I learned, if you'll recall from the last video, is you bring all of your information in through through Google Keep by like if you're reading Kindle and in that video I show you where you can split your screen and you can you can take your notes Google Keep is excellent for capturing the first part of Forte's uh, process it's very good for capturing notes so here you'll see other than the shopping list I have here for home you'll see uh, all of these notes that I've taken from different sources on this anxiety project now I've gone ahead and I have uh, created a, a tag or a label called CBT Anxiety Video. Now remember, tags or labels in Google Keep are temporary, or they should be, because uh, Google Keep limits you to only 50 of them. So if you think you're going to structure everything with labels, you'll be mistaken or you'll be disappointed because you're going to run out of labels. So what I do is I use those for temporary um, bookmarking to where I can find things. Now, another thing I've done here, and this was the disappointment that I discovered, is, and this is going to come into the organize in a second, but with Google Keep, typically you can have all your stuff here on the desktop. You can have all these multiple projects. You can color code them, all those kind of things. And then you can go over here to, let's say, well, I can even look in the archive. Look at all these files that I've got in the archive. Well, the problem is, uh, and, the, the, and the archive doesn't delete anything, it just puts it off your desk space, so you, like a filing cabinet, so you can go back to it. But if we go back here to notes, what I've had to do, uh, because it will work better with the workflows, I've had to archive everything I'm actively working on except this project. What I'd hope to do is just simply go over here to this label, and there, there's all the, the notes as well, but here's, here's the issue. In Google Keep, if you are in a uh, if you are in a labeled section, you cannot move any of the any of the notes around. You can't organize them at all. So what I've done is I've moved everything I'm not currently working on to the archive temporarily. Now I can move them back in a little bit. It's real easy to do. But this way, let's say for whatever reason, I want control in certain. Here's how I think about this. Back in the old school days. I would go to the library with three by five index cards and I would be working on, let's say, a theology paper. And I would uh, read all these different uh, different uh, sources and actually there were four by six index cards I used. And I would read all these sources and then I would I would put the, the, the um, bibliography information on them, everything, the quotes and all that and the page numbers. And then I would basically get on a big long table and I would separate things out into different buckets or different 
sections of the paper I was working on, and that's how I would organize things. It would also help me see, oh, I need more sources in this bucket, or I, I have too many in this bucket. I need to move this to here and that to here. Well, you can do that in Google Keep. You've, got, you've collected all your sources. You've captured everything you need. But you're looking at it now in a paper, let's say it's a paper or a presentation, I'm, I'm going to do a video on this, but uh, it, comes, it comes into focus. These are all the things I need to kind of share with, with the final product. But you know, I like control and certainty. I like that quote to be closer to the front. So I'm just going to simply move it here. And I like this face your fears also. I will move it here. So see, I can organize everything as far as that goes. Uh, now. Uh, let me, let me put this in archive as well real quick. I'll, I'll move that back because I'll show you what I'm about to do. So I've collected everything. That's the C. And I've now organized. I've got everything in the order I want it to be in, right? And so what I can do is I can do a, in, on a Mac, I can do Command A. I think you can. Let me see here. Let me see. Where is that? There we go. Oops. Command A. It will select all of them. Okay, it would be Control A, I think, if you're using Windows or probably a Chromebook. And then here you go to the three dots and it says Copy to Google Docs. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to create, it's going to create down here, you see this Copy to Google Docs. Now, I'm not going to open it here. Let's go back to Google Drive. If we go down here, well, Google Keep Document. Look at what I've got. I've got all of my notes in order. So I'm going to call this um, anxiety video working, do uh, working document. Now, what I want to do is, so then what I can do, that, so now I've, I've captured everything and I've organized. So I've got all the information is now in a Google Doc that I can work. Uh, I can I can add things to it. I can create a narrative. Whatever I want to do, everything's here. Now, of course, I'm not going to, the final project will not have all of this stuff in there. So I'll have to distill it down. And what I'll end up doing is I'll go in and I'll, I'll put my own wording. I'll put sources where they're supposed to go, just like you're writing a paper. But everything's in the right order. Before I do that, though, what I'll probably need to do, just to be safe, is make a copy of this. And the reason I want to make a copy of it is simply because I want to have a pristine copy before it's been touched. So I go back to my anxiety working video. So on, you know, I'm working on it. Let's go back to Google Drive real quick, though. So what I want to do here is I want to take uh, this working document here, hold down the command, copy of, and I want to move those. Uh, move to. I want to move it into my projects. I want to move it into this uh, CBT anxiety video and I want to move them here. That way I've got what I need, where I need it. And so we go to the CBT anxiety video and here they are. I'm going to take the working document. I'm going to work on it, distill things down, and then the final product, what will be expressed, will most likely be a paper. It could be, well, in this case, it'll be an actual video script probably, and I will create a script about that. I could even put YouTube links, whatever I want to do in that projects folder. Now, once that's all completed, I can go back over here. I can then maybe create a label over here called completed projects. I can, I can then remember in here, I've gotten, uh, we've put things like, um, Let's see if I've got them in here. You could put a, I, I didn't put it in here, but you could put, I haven't done this yet because I'm still working on it. Here I might do a, a pseudo label called Welch 2007, which will then allow me to search on that source if I wanted to. I could do the similar thing. I could, I could even put uh, another pseudo, pseudo label on here called and I use the at sign instead of the pound sign. If you use the pound sign, it'll create a real label. Uh, uh, anxiety project video. And so then that tag, so the reason that's important is when I throw everything into the archive, I can easily find it. Uh, you could also create your own note that you could pin to the top where you keep track of all of those pseudo tags or the pseudo labels. 
Well, I hope that this little workflow video has been helpful. Remember, it's, it's so often we get so upset and frustrated because the application won't do what we want it to do. And all we really need to do is think about what we're trying to accomplish. I love Tiago Forte's flow of collect or capture, organize, distill, and express. And if you remember that's the path you're on, then all you need to do is figure out which tools will help you get there. Well, I hope you've liked this video. If you enjoy this kind of work and would like to see more things like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell, the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any questions related to uh, this, this video or videos, if you would like to see more videos like it, leave your comments in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to entertain those. God bless. Talk to you soon.